What's up, BG? I'm Isabella. And I'm Isaac. Let's learn about the history of Easter with an Easter egg hunt. Let's get right to it. Oh my goodness, it's an Easter egg. On Good Friday, which sees the start of the Easter weekend, it is illegal to dance in public in the majority of states in Germany. Oh look, I found another one. The world's largest Easter egg weighs in at 5,000 pounds. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh wow, found an egg. The woven tree containers represents a bird's nest and a new life, especially when filled to the brim with eggs. Easter Bunny? In 2007, an Easter egg was sold for nine, for nine million. Hey Gales, hope you learned some interesting facts. And had a very happy Easter. Are, Are you ready, ready for, for the, the best Friday, Friday ever with the Foreman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Bishop Gorman. Gorman. I'm Hannah Shahoyan. And I'm Lillian Matthews. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. Today is Friday, April 5th, and it's National Self-Care Day. So make sure to put yourself first and do something for you today. Hannah, what do you usually do to unwind after a long weekend? You know, Lillian, sometimes I just like to calm myself by reading a book or just even journaling. Oh, I love reading a good book. Or taking the time to just sit and write. Did you know that it's National Poetry Month? I did, and lucky for us, Teddy and Jacob talked with some of our English teachers about creative writing. Roll the clip. Creative writing, as opposed to academic writing, it's, a, it's an outlet for people who maybe can't play an instrument or maybe aren't good at communicating in any other way other than uh, through a story or through a poem. So it's a creative outlet. What characterizes or probably even defines the human experience is we all have things going on inside of us, whether they are emotional feelings, thoughts and ideas, physical sensations, and we can't communicate that to other people unless we have language. And so people have used writing forever as a means of trying to express whatever they have going on in them and share it with other people around them. And that is what makes writing amazing. My favorite thing about writing is it is a way for someone to express him or herself. And it helps me remember things. I write things that doesn't even have to be anything like a story, a shopping list. It lets us take things that are personal to us, that only we are experiencing, and try and share them with others, and share what other people are experiencing as well. Wow, I gotta start writing for fun more often. Right now, all I have time for are English essays or timed rights. Speaking of, are you taking the ACT next Tuesday? Nope, freshmen, sophomores, and seniors get the day off. The good news is Sutton and Bell put together some helpful study kits for all the juniors prepping over the weekend. Let's check it out. Jojo, wake up. Did you know the ACT is coming up soon? Wait, are you serious? Yep, here's some tips. First, you want to make sure that you get a good night's sleep before the test. Second, you want to make sure you eat a good breakfast. In the weeks before the test, you want to make sure that you try some problems and get some practice. Also, speaking of practice, you might want to make sure you sign up for the ACT boot camp. On the morning of the test or during the ACT, don't be stressed. You perform better when you're calm. Also, remember to take one section at a time and remember to breathe during your test. What 
did you guys get on your ACT? I got a 35. Thanks for the tips. Wow, so glad our senior pres is always looking out for us. Wait, Seth's the new class president? Yeah, Kira's here to catch us up on who won the ASG elections. Let's meet our new officers. What's up, Fisher Corbin? I'm Akis Chatter, and I'm your future sophomore class president. Hi, I'm Bia Coons, and I'm your future sophomore vice president. Hi, I'm Alexis Mayer, and I'm your future sophomore secretary. My name is Kate Seitman, and I'm your future junior class president. Hi, I'm Bella Villian, and I'm your future junior vice president. Hi, I'm Lila, and I'm your future junior class secretary. I'm Sutton, and I'm so excited to be the senior class president next year. I originally got into ASG because I love leading people, and I really love being involved at Gorman. There's so much to do, and I'm really excited to help make our senior class more involved and have more school spirit at the pep assemblies. Hey, my name is Chris Lee. I'm vice president. I wanted to do this because I really love my class. And I wanted to share my spirit with everybody. Um, my name is uh, Logan A. Timmons, and I ran for senior class secretary because um, it seemed like it'd be fun. Hi, my name is Nina Pomerantz, and I'm your senior class treasurer. I'm really excited for this year because I love Bishop Gorman, so I'm excited for the opportunity to be an officer. Wow, these four years have gone by so fast. I can't believe school's almost over. I can't wait to be a senior. And look, even the freshmen are leveling up. Well, not quite there yet. We still have some freshman pride winners to acknowledge. Shane and Athena have more. What's up, Bishop Gorman? I'm Shane O'Hanley. And I'm Athena Hovanesian. And the freshmen have been killing it here lately. Let's go see who our freshman pride winners were. Great job, Freshies. You guys aren't the only ones succeeding here at Gorman, as spring sports are killing. Let's pass the ball over to Owen for more. Owen? What's up, Bishop Gorman? My name is Owen, and, uh, and the sports have been killing it here for the past two weeks. Let's get right into it. Baseball has been on a hot streak with four wins in a row after beating St. Peter with a score of six to five on Wednesday. Lacrosse has also been in full sw spring. Our men's lacrosse team beat Mira Costa last night with a score of 7-3. Great job, boys. Track has the Arcada and Parsendia meet this weekend. Good luck, guys. In sports outside the G, March Madness is in full effect. On Saturday, NC State will play Purdue with UConn facing Bama as they battle the Final Four this week in the men's division. In the women's division, South Carolina will play NC State today at 4, 4 p.m. and at 6.30 p.m. UConn battles Iowa. Anyways, that is all we have this week, Bishop Gorman. Keep it real, BG. Thanks, Owen. Hannah, have you gotten your course request submitted? I'm still deciding what science to take. You better decide quickly. Reminder that requests for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors are due today at 3 p.m. Not inputting courses will result in failure to reserve your spot in any classes next school year. Additionally, tomorrow is the deadline to request any summer enrichment courses. Make sure to log into Blackboard and check that your requests have been accurately saved. Prom guest pass applications are now available in your Google class of Google Classroom. Remember that ticket sales end on April 10th and your 2024 prom court will be announced this upcoming Monday. Hey Lil, do you have all your service hours done? Yep. Thank goodness I did them all my first two years. I still have to get a few more done, but luckily Owen and Sydney asked other seniors for advice on how to efficiently complete them. 
I'm Sydney. And I'm Owen. Today we interviewed some seniors about their service hours and any advice they have for the younger classmen. Let's check it out. Um, I did the uh, lead memorial um, boys and girls club for like 10 hours. Don't procrastinate. Get it done. So joining a, or like an organization that helps you do service hours and really gets you out there into the community really helped me. And then I joined it like my freshman, sophomore year and that super helped me get like all of my hours and I was done by my sophomore year. So for Catholic Charities, you can either help give out food, you can give out water, or you can help clean up. And it is a two-hour thing on uh, Sunday, and that's how I did most of my hours. Thank you. Um, I had this program uh, called Assist Teams, and basically we just um, get together every Sunday, and we ask, and we, and we get kids to get school supplies, um, clothes, and um, we, do, we just do a lot for the community. We work in the um, Assistance League thrift store help out working out on the store. I would definitely say get a head start during your underclassmen years. Thanks guys. Another chance to get some hours in the National Honor Society hosted event at Opportunity Village. This will take place on Thursday, April 11th, and you can serve from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m., 6 o'clock to 7.30 p.m., or both. NHS students can sign up using the Google Classroom link. All their students, please email Mr. Gerdemuller as soon as possible. These are direct hours, so don't miss your chance to serve. Well, that's all we have for you today, Bishop Gorman. I'm Hannah Shahoyan. And I'm Lillian Matthews. And, and this, this is your BGTV. BGTV.